hello everyone before we start with the tutorial uh, i will give you a little bit preview of my website from where you can buy and download the detailed parametric uh, families to be used in your uh, architectural and interior design projects for now there are these folding doors doors windows center tables these columns all of them are fully parametric you can even you know open and close these doors and you can change the height and the width of these doors and the, all of them are created in details with the profiles and everything the new addition is these folding doors and you can open and close them at any given angle between 0 to 90 degrees and there are these six type of folding doors and you can use them by changing their dimensions and everything and you can use them in your interior projects and before you buy the product from this shop tab uh, check out these videos in which i have given a detailed video on how you can change the parameters of the uh, of the uh, families and blocks available in this shop tab so do give a visit to the website and give me your feedback so now let's move towards the tutorial in today's tutorial i'm going to create a parametric glass and steel dome using the massing technique and curtain panel pattern based family but before we start let me ask you to like and share my videos leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel also if you have any kind of difficulty you can ask me anytime and now let's start the tutorial open a new architectural template file in revit go to the massing inside tab and click on in place mass click ok and place a reference plane in the level 1 floor plan like this assign a name to this reference plane like i have given it the one and then go to south elevation set the reference plane to one which you have just drawn in the level 1 floor plan and now draw a vertical line like this and then draw an arc on the same reference plane like this so this line and this arc will depend upon the dimensions you want to keep of the dome and then select both of them using the control button for multiple selection and then click on create form to create the dome now select both of these surfaces using the control button on, on keyboard and click on divide surface and from here you can select any type of pattern for this tutorial i have selected this triangle flat now click on this single surface and from here you can either give a value uh, uh, dimensions to the u grid and the v grid or you can uh, give the total number of components which you want to uh, uh, which you want to be placed on the surface so it all depends upon the dimensions you want to keep for the dome now select this other half surface and remember that the dimensions and the number of values of the u grid and the v grid should be similar for both of these surfaces now open a new family template file of curtain panel pattern based go to its floor plan then select this grid and from this select this triangle flat and from here you can uh, change the dimensions of this grid for this tutorial I'm going to keep it 2 feet by 2 feet but it doesn't matter what are the dimensions because this is going to be parametric and it will adjust according to the dimensions of the dome now place these two lines uh, place is the two lines on the triangle like this so that you have a center point and then place a reference point here then go to the 3d and select this point and give it an offset of six inches so that it moves uh, upwards towards its z-axis now select the line make sure 3d snapping is checked and drawn face is selected and then connect these points like this 
as you can see in the video now select this point elements and make sure drawn face is selected and place these three points on the three lines now set the reference plane to this point and draw a circle of half inches radius here now select the circle and select these two lines using the control button on keyboard and, and click on create form and repeat this step for the remaining lines as well as you can see in the video Now open this family dialog box and click on the new parameter and create a new parameter under the material and give it the name frame and then create a new material parameter with the name glass like this and then give um, assign materials to the frame and the glass according to your design. Now move the cursor on the frame and press tab button so to easily select all of the form and then assign the material frame to it and repeat this step for the remaining elements of frame as well. Now set the graphic display to wireframe so that the reference lines are visible. Now select these three reference lines and click on create form. Assign the positive offset at 1 by 8 inches this is basically the extrusion for the glass and then assign the material of glass to this extrusion now select these three reference lines and again click on create form and give the positive offset value of 1 by 8 inches and assign the material of glass to it and now repeat this step for this third panel of the component as well So now our single component of the dome has been created and it kind of looks like this. Now save this family file and load it into the project. Now go to the 3D, select both of these surfaces and from here select this one component which is the name of the family file and you can see that it, the, the component has been placed. Uh, on all of the uh, on all of the parts of the dome and it and the dimensions uh, are set according to the panel size and if you change the value of the u grid or the v grid the size of the component will adjust according to that as you can see here and you can see that how easy it is to create a steel and glass dome in Revit and also a parametric one and if you want to flip the component select these surfaces and here in this properties dialog box check this component flip option and the component will be now outside in the opposite side so that's all for today i hope you like this tutorial if you have any difficulty you can ask me anytime i will meet you guys in the next video till then goodbye and take care and most importantly don't forget to like share and subscribe